Hello, I'm John Madsen, and this is Building a Web Crawler, Episode 2. In this episode, we're going to build out the business object layer. We'll be adding domain, anchor, and web page classes. These classes will act as data containers for our web crawlers and database. First, we'll need to add a new package for our business objects. Right-click Source Packages, click New, then click Java Package. Enter the new package name and click Finish. Next, we'll add our new classes. Right-click our new package and click New, then Java Class. For the class name, enter Domain, then click Finish. Repeat those steps to add two additional classes, Anchor and Web Page. Next, we'll add some private properties to our domain class. These will hold the basic information about the domain business object. Add domain hash, domain URL, activated, modified, and created. Note that our domain database table will look exactly like this class. Now, we'll add getters for our private properties. We won't be adding setters because the private property values will be set internally by the constructors. Right-click below the created property Click Insert Code, then Getter. Select the root node Domain to select all the private properties to have the getters generated automatically. Next, we'll add our constructors. We'll need two constructors, one for basic construction and one constructor that will set all the private properties. Right-click below the Get Created Getter method. Click Insert Code, then Constructor. For the first constructor, select Domain Hash and Domain URL, then click Generate. Repeat this a second time to generate the second constructor, except this time, select all the properties. This will generate a complete constructor for the class that will set all private properties. This second constructor will mostly be used when loading data from the database. Now we'll add the anchor class. Follow the same steps to add the anchor class as we did for the domain class. Add domain, anchor hash, anchor URL, scan status, activated, modified, and created for our class's private properties. Next, we'll add the getters. Use the same code generation technique we used for the domain class to generate getters for all private properties. We'll also need to add the same two types of constructors we did for the domain class. The first constructor will use domain, anchor hash, and anchor URL. The second constructor will be a complete constructor, expecting all private properties as constructor perimeters. Use the same code generation technique to create the constructors as we did for the domain class. Now, we'll add the web page class. Add a new class to the package using the same technique we use to add the domain and anchor classes. Next, we'll add private class fields. Add anchor, web page hash, anchor parse status, and email parse status. Now, we'll add our constructor. The first constructor will accept an anchor type as an argument which will be the constructor we use when crawling. We'll also need to add a string field for the HTML we receive during web crawling. We'll need to do some refactoring to bring some of our initial test code into our web page class. If you recall, this code is what JSOOP implements to connect to a web server and retrieve the HTML. Add a private void method called getHTML. Next, we'll move our try catch block with the JSOOP code from the static main method into our new getHTML method. The getHTML method will now be where this code block will be called. We'll need to do some more refactoring so the code makes more sense and the method names reflect the work that they do. Change the private string HTML class field to the type of JSOOP document and the field name to document. Rename the getHTML method to getDocumentFromWeb.
We'll also need to change the scope of our local variable doc to the class scope by setting our return value to the class filled document. This will allow us to access the JSOUP document value from anywhere within our class, which will come in handy later. In this episode, we added a new package to contain our business objects. We added three new classes, domain, anchor, and web page. We also added private properties, getters, and constructors to our new classes. In the next episode, we'll be implementing our test-driven development methodology by creating a new JUnit project, setting it up to work with our main project, and creating some initial unit tests for our new classes along with testing JSUP web page downloading.